Hey everyone, James and Mark here with another video. Welcome to Happy Hour. Today, our friends at Carnivore Club sent us a box for us to review. So we're gonna be making a little charcuterie board with the items that they sent over. Um, I guess if you think about it, it's kind of like a Netflix subscription, but instead of getting a movie every month, you get like an assortment of meat and cheeses, which is something <laughs> I can get down with. I'd yeah. love to get meat and cheese arriving at my door monthly. I'll tell you that much. But, you know, I thought you were producing meat ah! and cheese in here. <laughs> okay, enough. We, we need to get uh, started. So why don't we do the unboxing first and then we're gonna pop open a bottle of wine and then let's get happy hour started. Happy hour, happy hour. Oh, comes in this really cool red box. This box I think is called the complete box. It comes with both meat and cheeses. Oh. oh this is kind of a cute pattern here. Let me remove this for you. Right, oh let's my explore. Yeah. So immediately my eyes went to this log. Yeah, your eyes went straight to the meat. Oh, so this is dry, it says dry salami, hot, sopra sata. Okay, sopra girl, sata. maybe I should have done the pronunciation. I don't know. Hot sopra sata. Yeah, it's hot sopra sata. Okay. I think we've had that. So it's kind of like a spicy. Spicy. Thing. Okay. And this is another dry salami, bourbon and bacon. Ooh, that sounds Ooh. like it could be like a little sweet note, right? Or like old fashioned. Oh, that sounds this good. This could be in an old fashioned. Maybe we should save some, like we don't have to use it all for the yeah. sugar, we could slice it up and then maybe make an old fashioned like next time. Like instead of candied bacon in the old fashioned, maybe this would be yeah. good in it. We have this um, block of cheese, smoked cheddar. Ooh, okay. And then a bag of berries and nuts. I always like to have some uh, nuts with my charcuterie board. Oh, do you? I do, I do, I do. Ooh, this looks like some kind of Ooh, jam. Ooh, fig. That's good. Oh. And I feel like the only time we have fig jam is on a charcuterie board. And then the last item in the box is this Parmesan crisp. Mm, this, this takes me back to our uh, when we were pseudo keto snacking. Of, yeah. But just by even looking at the labels, everything seems very like a fancier version of what you could get at your local grocery store. So absolutely, lactose free, this is natural, RBST, which is um, the big RBST hormones. free. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So I think the box, this subscription box is around 50 bucks or so. Oh, okay. So that's like a monthly thing. And then you can always control like if you want it, once a month, you could do twice a month, so you can really control the frequency of everything. Oh, so the pamphlet even tells you the item and oh, nice. pairing tips. I so see I'm happy because China. either uh, a light bodied white wine such as Pinot Grigio mm -hmm. or Sauvignon Blanc, or even a light medium red such as Merlot or Pinot Noir, which we have. Oh, do we definitely have Pinot Noir? For sure, we have Pinot Noir. Cool. Well, let's get to the wine then. Oh, so. Stick with Pinot Noir? Let's yeah. Come, come, my lady, come, come, my lady. This bothers me. Let's just stick a random one there. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> You've made me into a monster. Okay, so, ooh. Pinot Noir. This is um, a fancier bottle for us. This is about maybe $40, $50 dollar bottle of wine. Oh, nice. At the market. Coho. Coho. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's pour this out. Are we gonna use that little fancy, was it a wine pour that you got in Paso? So this is what we bought at Paso. Oh my gosh, it's, it's a mini hairdo. It's a mini hairdo, but you use this because it's a built-in aerator for your wine. So you okay. just stick this whole thing in the bottle. As you pour out, it aerates it. Shut up. <laughs> it's gonna be really, really cute. Just watch. It looks like it's howling to the moon or it's like, it's happy hour. Oh my goodness. Now, if you drink a lot of wine, and this is the reenactment of it. <laughs> Happy hour officially starts. Cheers. Cheers. 
I don't know, it's probably because we've been drinking a lot of like hard liquor, soju, that I just really appreciate a nice uh, mild glass of wine. Do you feel classy or gassy? I taste notes of beans and jicama and quinoa. What? You know how they always talk about all those notes? That's what I taste, that's what I taste. You can't fight me on this. All right, let's start out with the meat. I'm really curious about how these taste, so let's start off with the hot sopressata. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bio major, but I obviously didn't go that route. I feel like we're in surgery. Yeah. I can just open this one now too, but you'll start with that one. We're actually assembling another charcuterie board tomorrow, so it's kind of like practice right now, huh? Oh, are we? Oh, look at that. Kind of looks like a... Pepperoni chorizo almost, huh? Okay, I want to cut the cheese first because this has some flavor oils to it. Oh, that makes more sense. Well, here. And we just have to remember to refrigerate these after we open them. So I don't know how many slices we're going to get out of the meat, but... We're going to cut like third to a half. I'm, I'm going to still display the whole thing. I'm over here still trying to open up my first one. There we go. Oh, this smells really good. It smoke. Oh, I can smell. Right when you said that, I just started smelling it smell from here. It? Yeah. How about a little cheese just for taste testing too, yeah. before we commit to putting it on the board? Let's cut that in half for each of us to try. Let's just see how smoky this actually is. Ah. Uh. Oh. Mmm. Uh. Oh. No, I like the wine. You can taste the smokiness. Oh, absolutely. Mm. You can really smell this one too. I see you doing a little fancy display. Have a, a big block of it and then slices right after. Uh, Mmm! This one's good too! Mmm. Mmm. What I love about salamis is that like pepperiness. Do you taste that? Mm hmm I thought it actually be a little bit sweeter, but not really. No. Oh yeah, definitely you can see all the oils in this one, so... Vocabulary. Oh gosh, that looks good. Kind of is making me feel a little happier than it I was at the start of the hour. Yeah? Yes. Did I have a light lunch today? No, I actually had a big lunch. What did you eat for lunch We just today? had the leftovers yesterday. We had like rice and like teriyaki chicken leftover. That wasn't that much. I don't know. So the sausages are pointing towards each other. That's the motif I think Mark is going for. I don't know. Feed me the meat. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, totally different. Even this one gave me back loose thumbs. <laughs> I think we did have a small, you know, the cheese, uh, the knife slash, like, oh, was that too big? That may be too big, but it's still better than nothing. Or use our small Nork spoon. Girl, he just said Nork spoon and expects I know what that is. Let's see if I grab the right thing. Wish me luck. Okay, this looks small and norkish. Yeah, that's probably. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. You got it. You get momos. <laughs> Gotta do some quality control on these nuts. Mhm. Mm I'm eating as you go, so you probably have to keep adding more. <laughs> yeah, let's fill it up. Let's fill her up. Now you can see the behind the scenes of what it's like to be a food influencer. Are we food influencers? Not really. 
Want to be food influencers? I think Perhaps. food influences you. Maybe just food? Food influence? But it affects my mood and my happiness. Hi, Hedu! Hedu's like, am I invited to happy hour? And he's like, why am I the court stalker? <laughs> okay, let's take a picture. Oh, she's gorge. Happy, happy hour. Happy, happy hour. I really want to try this cheese crisp with this, with a little bit of this big jam. Big jam. Ooh. Oh, thanks for holding it down for me. Well, oh, she's thick. Actually, here, I'll just make it for you. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you don't look happy it though. <laughs> does it matter? I offered. Mm. Big food sounds so good. Mm. We should have just done an ASMR channel. Mm. It's good. Good combination, actually. Because, like, the parm and the meat could be salty, but the jam really mm. sweetens it up. Mm. Mm. Really nice balance. You should do a lot in the beginning of COVID. So March, April of 2020, when we had the safe at home order. Mm. Around like four or five, we used to do happy hour at home. You're right, I totally forgot about that. We now, cocktails. Yeah, now I just get like a Capri Sun and a string cheese and call it a day. I think we've gotten rid of the string cheese too. Now it's just Capri Sun. <laughs> You know what, let's bring it back, happy hour. Let's bring it back. I think that's one of the selling points if we were to sign up for Carnivore Club, is that it kind of forces you to do this. And for that price alone, I think it would be worth it. I would totally order this once a month so that at least we could do happy hour at home or if we forget to, but we are invited to someone's birthday party. And we're like, ah, we have, do we have to stop by Target? Oh, we don't have time or we're gonna be late for the party? Nope, just bring over the box. Better about giving this as the box gift versus, you know, um, I don't know what that product's called, around Christmas time. Oh, they no mass fire farm. They mass produce that and like, it, it doesn't feel as special. This one just feels like they actually curate like very specialty items and put it together and then it feels more like a gift, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Whereas when you get the other one, it's like, it's too pre-packaged. Two it's too yeah. gift basket -y. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right, like, even though we use most of everything, I think we're gonna have a lot that we could store away and then do this again tomorrow. We can have happy hour tomorrow. Happy hour every Happy night. hour week. Happy, happy hour week. week. Yeah. Happy 72 hours. My favorite part of charcuterie is like finding the best combo. This, with a piece of this, and then these look like, are these cranberries, maybe? Mmm. Mmm. All right, well, thank you for joining us for happy hour. If you're interested in checking out Carnivore Club, um, use the link down below. And we have a coupon code, James and Mark, you get 15% off your first order. So it's a good deal. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.